Hey, what's going on, y'all? Hope everyone's having a fabulous day. If you have not gotten a chance to subscribe to the channel, please do so. Um, in this video, what I want to talk to you guys about is an article that I've been reading um, over the past week. And it talks about the seven disciplines that start with D that helps you get to the next life. I just wanted to share these things with you. Um, in my last video, you guys know I talked about um, being on the grind. I actually got a load that brought me through the house. So I thought this was a great time for me to film this. And that way I can and try to share it with you guys. And hopefully you guys get a lot of value from it. If you can, leave me a comment if this helps you. If you don't like these type of videos and you want me to stick with credit, just let me know. Um, because I want to grow this channel in the right direction. I don't want to lose people for the sake of things that I think is going to help us get to the next level, right? So the very first thing that this, this article was talking about was distractions, removing distractions from your life. And in it, it talked about how when you first set goals, you always have all these distractions around you. However, it's not until you set your goals that you realize the distractions. And so what you want to do is you want to be able to remove all the distractions from your life. And these might be things like some friends might be very toxic in the form of they always want to take you to go to the clubs or they're always trying to get you to do things. That's not going to really help you get ahead with your goals. And so what this article was talking about was removing the distractions from your life. Some of us, right, including me, we have uh, these social media um, apps on our phone where we'll just spend hours upon hours just swiping through watching pet videos and stuff like that. And it's distracting you from completing your to-do list. If you watched a lot of my videos, I talked a lot about my to-do list. And I noticed that sometimes when I'm in between my to-do list, I'll find myself just wiping, swiping through these videos for with no aim. And I believe that like there are studies that's been done from these multi-billion dollar companies like Facebook, you know, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all these apps there. There is a reason why that there is big. They are as big as they are. And that's because they spend an obscene amount of time trying to understand what's going to keep you swiping, right? And so as long as they keep you swiping, they know they have your attention. And all, when somebody else has your attention that's not aligned with your goals, that is deemed a distraction. And I want you guys to understand that. And I want you guys to be aware of the distractions that you may have in your life right now. And if, if you have set goals... And if you're sitting there looking at all these little things that are popping up in your life that is trying to pull you in a direction that's actually preventing you from going forward, you may want to really rethink that situation and see if if you if there is a way that you can mitigate that problem. OK, so the very first D is removing distractions from your life. The second D in this article that it talked about was being disciplined. When I used to think about discipline, I thought about it as, you know, things that I did on a, on a routine basis, right? Even when I don't want to do something, um, I stick to these, these, this, this core strong belief that I'm going to keep practicing and keep doing certain things, even when I don't want to do it. And, and what in this article, what it talked about was it's not the things that you do do, but the things that you don't do. And, and that rang true with me because there's a lot of things that I do that I don't have to do. Like in, in my situation, being a control freak in all my businesses, I have a problem with de delegating certain tasks. And so I try and take um, the responsibility for everything and everyone in my organizations because I feel like I'm the only one that can do it. Right. I, and it's something that's in my mind that tells me it's me. I'm the only one that can do it. And sometimes I have to let go, even though I don't want to. And sometimes some of us, 
There are certain things in your life that you feel is beneficial to you and it may not be the most beneficial task for you. There's another video that I'm going to create in the next week that talks about um, this, this sheet that I have that talks that lets me know as far as like certain tasks that I really don't need to be doing that is really not beneficial. Um, but that's a video for another day. Maybe you have something in your life, right, that you feel like you have to do, that you have a problem letting go of, that you need to let go of. And that's that's a form of practicing discipline. Discipline isn't just, you know, I wake up at four o'clock in the morning every day and I go to the gym, right? Sometimes it's when I feel like eating that ice cream at night, right? I don't eat that ice cream or whatever it is. There are certain disciplines that that is required that you don't do. It's not always about what you do do. All these things are, are trying to help you get to the next level. So it's not always what you do. Sometimes it's what you don't do that is required for discipline. The third D is distance. It's said that you are the average of the five people that you are surrounded with. And I talked about this, I believe, in, in a video last week where I was talk, telling you guys, you guys are the five, the average of the five people that you surround yourself with. So I'm always trying to come into you guys' circle and trying to give you guys videos to help you level up. And when I talk about distance, right, it's not about length of time, but it's more about distancing yourself from toxic people. When you're, when you look at, at everything that you are in control of, meaning your family, yourself, you have to put a bubble around these things and not allow a whole bunch of people to come in to distract your, your situation or, or bring their toxicity into your situation. So sometimes you have to kind of distance yourself and you guys know the people that are in your life. You know the people that are in your workplace. Sometimes you're going to lunch with these people and you have to learn to distance yourself from these people because they're not always doing things in your best interest, right? And so you have to be the keeper of your time and know when you are not um, keeping the right company, okay? And so you always wanna be aware of these things, of, of your surroundings, who you surround yourself with. All there, are they always instilling positive energy in you, right? Because there's a lot of people that no matter what you say, they're always going to look at the negative side of things. And, and these are the people that I, I've been, over the past two, three years, I've been removing a lot of people out of my life just from this alone, right? Especially in trucking, everybody knows I'm, tr I'm a truck driver. There's a lot of people that I talk to on the phone that are truckers that no matter what you say, it just seems like they're negative. You, it could be sunny, 70 degrees outside, and they'll start talking about the breeze, right? And so these type of people, you have to learn to distance yourself from them and stay away from them. Okay, so that's the third D. The fourth D is your decision making, right? There was a book by Simon Sinek. I believe the name of the book is Start With Why. And it talks about your belief system. What do you believe, right? A lot of times we make decisions that are based on somebody else, somebody else's beliefs and knowing your beliefs, knowing your core values, having these core values is going to help you make better decisions, right? And I'm not talking about decisions, you know, road rage or something like that. I'm talking about setting budgets, what you spend your money on, what investments you make, um, how you go about looking at, do you pay a collection off or don't you, right? So your decision making becomes clear once you have the right core values. There in the credit repair space, there's this huge thing where it seems like people use credit repair not to take care of responsibilities that they have. And what I try to show people is just because items may came, come off your credit report does not mean you are not responsible for that item anymore. And what I try to do is I'm trying to teach 
and show that character is the number one thing in credit repair, right? Just because you have the ability to remove items from credit reports does not necessarily mean you're not responsible for those items. So when you're talking about decisions, what you're talking about is having a belief system that you want to abide by, having good character, right? And, and people don't follow people because they fear them. They follow them because they believe in what they believe in. And that's something that rings true. And, and like I said, if you haven't got a chance to write, uh, watch Simon Sinek uh, TED Talk, it's a, he, he goes over it and he talks about the difference between Apple and Microsoft right at the very beginning stages. And it was really an interesting talk. And so what you want to do is you always want to sit there and try to make the best decisions. And sometimes the best decision is the hardest decision that you have to make, right? Maybe you have to make that decision instead of sitting there watching the football game. Maybe you really have to be budgeting. Um, maybe it's time for you to get a budget and, and, the, speaking of budget, what I've noticed is if you sit there and you set a certain time every day that you're going to look at your budget, right? And every day at 7 p.m., you're going to do your budget. If you just make that small decision, that's what's going to help you get to the next level, right? Because they're like I talked about, there's so many distractions and and there's so many people pulling at you and there's so many things that can distract you from actually making the proper decision that once you start seeing the full picture of everything that I'm talking about, if you can apply these things, you're going to start seeing how your life is a little bit more organized. The fifth D is determination. OK, now. When you talk about will and determination, the first person that pops in my mind is Michael Jordan. Um, well known as probably the best basketball player to ever live. And they always talk about his determination, his will. And a, a lot of times you have to, to kind of self-talk yourself into believing in yourself. The first person that you have to make believe in you is you, right? And that's going to set a confidence and, and it's going to bring about a, a will and you have to have this determination and this persistence about yourself that no matter what happens, you're going to keep pushing. There's going to come times where you're going to want to quit. These are the times where your determination or, or your will to push through is going to shine. And those that are able to push through hard times to have that determination, those are the people that you want to surround yourself with. Those are the people that you're going to see and you're going to say, these are the type of people that I like being around. No matter what happens, they always find a way to succeed or overcome an obstacle. And it's because of their will and determination. And in this article, they gave several different examples. They talk about Muhammad Ali, how uh, Muhammad Ali, when he first became or before he was a champion, he was his name was Cassius Clay. And he believed in himself before um, anybody else believed in him. And so when you know, when you keep continuously self-talking yourself, you, you beget this confidence and determination about yourself that you are the best at whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. The sixth thing or the sixth D in this series that it talked about is do, um, taking action. You can have as much positive uh, affirmations or self-talk that you possibly can, but if you're not taking action, if you're not actually following through with some of the things that you believe in, it doesn't matter how much affirmations that you have, right? If you're not actually taking action and sometimes you might not be the best at it, but over time, as long as you keep being persistent and, and determined, you are going to actually become good at whatever it is that you're trying to do. 
but you're not going to become good at it if you never try it. So the 60 is doing it, right? Taking action, looking at the things that you want to achieve and say, okay, these are the things that are going to help me become successful. And I'm going to focus on these things. And I always talk about budgeting because it seems like that is the one thing that we all know that's going to help us get to the next level. However, we never take action on it. Oh, I'm going to put it off until Tuesday. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this or that. Or maybe some of you guys, you know, oh, I got a secure credit card that I need to get, but I won't go and get it because for whatever reason. Taking action on your plan, the most important step, one of the most important steps that you can have in all of these Ds to me, because there's a lot of people who talk the talk, but they never walk the walk. And you could see them from a mile away. They're always talking, talking about what they're going to do. I'm going to do this but they don't follow through on anything. And, and these are the things that you wanna be able to push through. You wanna say, okay, I'm gonna take action and it's not a short game, right? It's not something I'm gonna do today, but I'm gonna take action and I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna do this today and I'm gonna do this tomorrow. And these are the, these are the things that really propel you into getting to the next level. The seventh D, is destiny. This one I'm going to kind of elaborate on because it kind of rang true with me. When I was younger, I had this, I it was really easy for me to visualize big, right? I could have a, a, a big dream, but I didn't know how to put the baby steps in place in order for me to achieve my destiny, right? And destiny requires a whole bunch of little steps. It's easy to think big, right? It's easy to think I want to be, you know, the the chief executive officer for my company. I want this sales management position. But a lot of times when you're looking at things that you want to accomplish, what you have to look at is the small steps that are required to achieve your destiny. And this is the piece that a lot of people miss when they're trying to achieve their destiny is the fact that there's a whole bunch of small steps that are required that we miss out on. Okay. And so these are the seven disciplines that I wanted to share with you guys. This was a great article that I, that I would, it actually took me about a week to read. I would read a little bit of it and then I would put it down. But as I was going through so much, so much of it rang true through me. You know, it, it was something that was eye opening. And I said, you know what? I really want to make a video on these things. Um, and I wanted to share it with you guys. And I hope that you got a lot of value out of this. If you like the video, please leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down because that's going to let me know. Stop making these videos and stick to credit, right? Because that's my thing. Everybody knows I love talking about credit, but I read so much content and I watch so much YouTube that sometimes I come across certain things that I want to share with you guys, but I don't ever want you guys to think I'm trying to deviate anything from credit because credit is the core thing that I truly believe is going to help you get to the next level. And so when I'm thinking about these core values, I'm thinking about it in a sense that you can apply all of these things in the credit world, right? You, your discipline, you know, taking action and all these different values that this article was talking about. You can apply it to your, your credit walk, you know, because trying to build credit, it's not going to be instant. It's not anything that you're going to wake up and you're going to apply for a card. They're going to prove you. And tomorrow you're going to have a 750 FICO score. This is a long game. The credit world, the credit, you know, trying to build a proper credit profile. It's something that you're not going to be able to do in one day. And you didn't get in this situation in one day and you're not going to change it in one day. Right. It can take, you know, 18, 24 months before you see a seven on your FICO score. So this is something that 
you guys always got to constantly be pushing yourselves and understand you're not going to achieve it in one day. And, and there's, you know, there's a lot of people that are having a lot of success and following the steps that in, in some of the things that I try to show you guys, there's a lot of people. If you go in the comments of my YouTube videos and you just look in the comment section, you're going to see a lot of people that are having success with just the, the information from my YouTube channel. I'm not talking about the, my, you know, my clients, the people that I work with. I'm talking about people that are just watching the YouTube videos and they're going out, you know, applying for certain cards. And there's people that are replying to certain comments. You know, somebody might ask, what about this card? And there, there's other people that are chiming in, giving their opinions on people's comments. So we're actually building a community, which we're supposed to be doing to help us get to the next level. I really appreciate you guys' time. I hope that this video helps you. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Um, like I said, I try to make videos on credit most of the time, but every once in a while, there's something that I really try to help people get to the next level because that's what this, this whole channel was about, you know, getting to the next level. So I'm not going to keep you guys. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm heading out to California. I got a load going through the house. So I really wanted to drop this video, but I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm probably going to be on the road. So you guys have a blessed day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.